Okay, so kung napansin nyo, nagpalit yung Beta 1. Ito yung Beta 1 para sa FC Prime na 17. Okay? So, again, you do the same. Uh, the safest assumption to do is to assume that Fs is more than equal to Fy, where if that is the case, then Fs is equal to Fy. Now, this is again under reinforcement condition. That is the case. Then, again, C is equal to T. So, you will get 180.1408 mm. Then, the height of the neutral axis is 211.9303. Again, A reserves as the compression black height. And C reserves for the height of the neutral axis. Notice that if I apply, if you recall that Fs kanina, dinerive naman natin, 600, okay, over C, D minus C. I hope that the viewers or the learners have their uh, calculators to validate if the answer is correct. So kindly calculate while I am uh, discussing this or you can pause for a while and then recalculate the things that I've calculated here. Then you will find out that Fs is 450 point. 7064 MPA. That is not okay. Why? That is less than FY because the FY on letter B is 580 megapascal. Meaning, the assumption does not meet the condition. Okay? So, therefore, the value of A and the value of C as calculated here cannot be accepted because it comes from a wrong assumption. So, what do we do? We correct the assumption. Notice that FS is less than FY. Then, we cannot say that Fs is equal already to Fy because Fs is equal to 600 over C D minus C. Okay, mag adjust pa yung value na Fs na yan. Hindi pa talaga yan. So, ang gagawin natin, is in, instead of As, if you recall that T is equal to Asfy, ibabalik natin siya sa pagiging Fs. Yan yung ano eh, no? condition. Then, ito, ipapasok mo dyan. Okay? So, what will happen? Recalculating A. Again, para isang unknown lang. Kasi kung pinasok natin ito yung Fs, no? So, we expect that uh, Fs will be less than Fy ngayon. It cannot more than Fy na kasi kukorek na natin assumption. So, therefore, bakit naging 0.85 siyan? Kasi this is the value of A. Why? I cannot solve a given, eh, an unknown sa isang equation kung magkaiba. There should be only homogeneous equation or one a variable uh, equation only, which is in terms of C. But if, if you want that, you want to calculate A, then let it be A, and then C is equal to A over beta 1. So, it's up to you. Now, I choose to use A, uh, A is equal to beta 1 C para mas mabilisan tayo sa pag-calculate. Okay? Then, after that, I can, cal I can now get a value of C is equal to 196.2779. Now, for me to validate if this is the correct condition, now, notice that Fs is 600 over C quantity D minus C, which is D of 72 mm, you will get 537.1633 megapascal. Again, that is less than 580 megapascal. So far, this is now okay since this is now the true condition. So, this case is falling under what? This is over reinforcement. So, if this is a uh, true design, then the designer would not want to make this uh, section to exist in a, a uh, construction. Why? Uh, this is already a failing mechanism for the structure pag nag over reinforce ka. So therefore, uh, there's a need to increase the dimension of concrete beam or you may want to make the reinforcement be lesser than what, sh what it should be. So yan yung mga case condition if you are going to design. But notice that the problem is investigative. So we don't we, we, we cannot do anything to, to, to say this is unsafe and then redesign. No. We are just going to investigate what, we, what will happen if the beam. So next is how do we calculate the, uh, the moment capacity if that is over reinforced. Doing the same thing but note that FS is 537.1633 that's less than 580. After finding out na nagkaroon tayo ng condition for over reinforcement, so we will accept the last computed value of the height of the uh, neutral axis, which uh, yes, it's the height of the neutral axis, which is 196.2779. So we can now calculate the value of the height of the compression block A, which is beta 1 C. And again, uh, we are going to use beta 1 of 0.85 since our uh, given 
na FC prime of 17 megapascal is lower uh, lower than 28 megapascal. Okay? So, meaning, as we calculate that, then we will have uh, a value of 166.8362 millimeters. Okay? And then also, computing the same equation that I presented in this uh, video lecture, you can now have a maximum tensile strain of uh, 2.9609 times 10 to the negative 3. Again, how did we get that? Don't, don't forget that E sub T is the based on derivation from the strain diagram, 0 0.003 over C multiplied by uh, D sub T minus C. Okay. Now, you notice that the value was uh, found out. It is in between 0 0.002 and 0 0.005. And if that is the case, you're under the region of transition zone. So therefore, phi should not be uh, given directly as 0 0.9 and 0 0.65 since it is the, the boundary where it should be uh, under tension and compression control respectively. So how do we calculate this uh, the reduction factor phi? Now, if you recall in my past video lecture that I, we already have the derived formula Okay, now uh, let me present this to you, but can we use the past formula? Let us try to find out. No? Tingnan natin kung saan natin siya pwedeng gamitin at pwede natin siyang hindi gamitin by again reviewing the code behind this. Now, notice that this is the same uh, uh, provision that I presented using NECP 2015 first printing. I want you to notice that you notice that there is a maximum tensile strain under yielding and under 0 0.05. Now, I want you to notice that you can use E sub TY as FY over ES. So, when not to use that, actually, there is a typographical error in section 421.2.2.1 of our NECP 2015 first printing where it is mentioned here grade 280. Then, if that is grade 280 as of the code, that if we are not going to receive this is a typographical error, then it should be permitted to take uh, the yielding maximum tensile strain as value 0 0.002. But is this correct? Let us try to find out. Now, I want you to notice something. Now, don't forget that the base reference equation of our NECP is taken from ACI 2018M. Based on ACI 2018M, Dash 14. Also, you can also check some uh, latest code like ACI 2018-19. Okay, with metric conversion, you, you can find for this. It is of the same uh, section code. That's why I am not going to present it because it is located on the same section under section 21.2.2.1. Now, for the form reinforcement, is a TY shall be FY over ES. So, now notice that they are the same paragraph. However, for grade 420, the form reinforcement. So, this is the base reference of our code. However, in our NECP, it was mentioned grade 280. So, therefore, this 280 is a typographical error. No? Typo error. I don't know if this is uh, already corrected, our NECP 2015, second printing, but notice that it is already a typographical error since this code is taken from this, okay? from this statement. So, therefore, uh, actually, this grade 420 in in English unit, that is grade 60. Now, in, in the local market, that grade 60 it has a range, you know. It is in between 415 megapascal up to 420 megapascal. So, whenever you encounter a yielding yield strength of steel that is in between the value of 415 to 420, say 415, say 420 as the exact given, then you're talking about a grade of 60, okay? So if your reinforcement is grade 60 or uh, grade 415 to 420 megapascal, you, it, you are permitted to use 0 0.002, okay? Why? If you plug in the value of 415 as for FY, so for you to get the uh, E sub TY, you will eventually get 0 0.0021. And if you plug in 420, no, I, I think uh, it's, it's not uh, uh, this one. It should be like uh, 0 0.02075. And this one is... Uh, 
exactly point uh, zero zero twenty one. So they could suggest that you can use point zero zero two, okay, as the code suggests. Now, if your reinforcement grade is other than grade sixty or in not in between for any fifteen to four twenty, then you have to calculate e sub t equals f y over the strength of uh, the modulus of steel. So therefore, uh, take uh, take this on your mind. No, as a learners, that this is a typographical error, but I'm not suggesting that our code is incorrect. So there should there should be you know uh, errata for this. So take note, no, this should be grade 60 or 415 to 420 megapascal. So, but in in the metric version of our ACI 380, it's a, it, it declares 420, but it is accept, acceptable to use 415 megapascal as the code recommends. Okay, so again, uh, to continue, you notice that if the concrete is non-spiral with terms of the web reinforcement or the ties, so this will be the formula, but I, I think uh, this is this formula is very familiar to us. Ano? Why? In our past video lecture, we derived the formula based on the strain compatibility condition where the, uh, the concrete is under con compression control system at uh, 0 0.002 strain value of A sub T where it is under grade 60 and or 415 to 420 megapascal in conversion and under tension control system of 0 0.005 for the maximum tensile strain. Now, if you will try to set up if A sub T Y is equivalent to 0 0.002, okay? Now, you do, using uh, that value, you will arrive to our derived formula of uh, 0.65 plus 250 over 3 quantity E sub T minus 0 0.002. Looks familiar, right? So, it's the value that na we derived natin before. So, you can derive this same formula as the NACP and ACI suggest because it is just directly under the principle as we, discuss, uh, as we uh, finished discussing that in our past video lecture. So, under this case, since our yield strength is uh, of steel, is non grade 60 or not in between 415 to 400 for, uh, 420 megapascal then we will try to use uh, the condition where e sub t y is equal to f y over e s okay now let's start the uh, let's continue the calculation so our interest now is to calculate what will be the equivalent um, flexural reduction factor for i mean that's the reduction factor for flexure so then we will have this, E sub TY, 580 over 200,000, and then we'll get 2.9 times 10 to the negative 3. Now, plugging in all the values, E sub TY inside, okay, and we have the calculated 2.9609 times 10 to the negative 3 as the maximum tensile strain, and then we will get a fee of 0.6573. Now, before we appreciate that value, meaning, uh, E sub TY at 2.9, okay, E sub T Y at 2.9 times 10 to the negative 3, meaning our reinforcing steel bar under an F5580, this will be the boundary of compression control limit under that particular yield strength. Meaning, if your strain is less than or equal to 2.9 times 10 to the negative, or simply say 0 0.0029, then the the, uh, the concrete will experience uh, under the uh, condition of compression control limit. That's the definition of the yield strength, uh, uh, the maximum tensile strain under yield condition. Okay, that's the definition. So the compression control will happen if that uh, if that is less than or equal to 2.9 times 10 to the negative 3. So then you'll get this reduction factor fee. Well, 0.6573 ready for use in calculating the ultimate strength of concrete okay, under moment condition. Okay. Now, uh, nilagay ko po sa tabi ha, yung height of, the, of compression block at saka yung value of reduction factor fee for flexure. Then, we now calculate the nominal moment. no? The nominal moment strength of the cross-sectional area. So, notice that uh, we already defined this that it is C times D minus A over 2. Or you can simply say T times T minus A over 2, what I'm showing here, that they arrive to the same answer. So the same 
uh, practices that we are doing before, just like in this video lecture. So then, uh, that's a nominal strength that, that is rotating here. Okay? That's a nominal strength. That is the M sub N. But we are under in the interest of computing the ultimate moment strength, where ultimate moment strength M sub U is phi times M N. So using, uh, plugging in the value of phi. Okay? And of course, the nominal moment strength. Then you will get M sub U of 160.0512. So therefore, there, there, so therefore, there will be changes to so the ultimate moment capacity and highly dependent to the value of the compressive strength of concrete and the yield strength of steel. So therefore, there are important factors that might influence the, uh, the capacity of the concrete to resist load. It may get higher or it may get lower. Now, that, that's the definition of what we're doing today. So I, I suppose that the learners or viewers of this uh, video lecture are already digesting that the uh, capacity may vary if you are having this following condition. First, FC prime, so have something to do with it. Second, is the yield strength, okay, these two. Third, is the layers of the reinforcement, it's very important because it affects the, the uh, effective depth, D, no? and, and so on. So there's there's so many uh, controlling factors that might influence the the resistance of the concrete to this is load under ultimate and under nominal, but of course we are under the interest of under ultimate strength. If you are going to use the ultimate stress design, which is our in, uh, main consideration in, you, in analyzing, in designing, and investigating concrete section. I hope you learned from today's discussion and thanks for viewing. And again, our very tradition. You have been neuralized and I hope to see you in our next video lecture. Coming up next is a discussion of rectangular or singly reinforced concrete beam but this time we will consider a regular section. So see you in our next video lecture.